why don't you take a seat and tell me what appears to be the problem. I have for you four questions for Consult the Doctor, and these are fairly factual, short answer questions, so I will see how long this video gets. Anyway, um, we start off with, where can I purchase a replacement nib for a Platinum 3776? Nowhere, as far as I know. Um, we should not live under the impression that all pen companies sell replacement parts to the public because many of them don't. So you cannot just purchase a Montblanc 149 nib or a much to my dismay, say King of Pen nib. It's not possible. And as far as I know, the Platinum 3776 is that, that or Platinum is one of those brands, it does not just sell nibs. Now, sometimes you can find replacement parts on eBay. Sometimes people kind of scalp pens uh, and, and put a nib unit uh, out for sale. But the expectation has been set, I found, by certain brands like, for example, Noodless, who make a lot of replacement parts available. And, and that is great that you can replace all these things. But actually, a lot of pen companies don't do that thing. So I'm sorry. Also, a lot of those nibs, Pilot, Platinum, Sailor, and uh, many other brands, but we're kind of in the, the Japanese pen brand uh, atmosphere now, a lot of them are proprietary. So it's also not a matter of just buy a Bok nib and put it in your Platinum and it'll work. No, it probably will not fit. So it's really not that easy. So you buy a pen with the nib that you want, and then you have that nib. But if that's not an option, I understand sometimes it's not. If you purchase something pre-owned, you may not have a choice. I, said, I, I, I get that. But then don't have the expectation that you can just change things because, again, often you can't. Okay, I'll shut up now. All right, next question. Uh, have you ever used a shipment forwarding service for fountain pens? No. Next question. No, I haven't. I've not used a, a, a shipment forwarding service for anything, so not for pens either. If anyone in the, the audience has, please leave a comment below that might be useful, but I, I, I haven't, so I, I can't comment on it. The next question I feel I have answered before, but I'll, I'll try to do it again because it does come up regularly. Where do you sell pens? This is a person who has a Montblanc 149 for sale and uh, would like to sell it, but doesn't know where. Well, there are many channels. There is eBay. Uh, eBay this has a pretty vivid pen community, so you can probably sell it there. But there are other options as well. And uh, Fountain Pen Network or Fountain Pen Geeks are forums dedicated to fountain pens uh, where you can sell your pens. There is Virtual Pen Show on Instagram, which I think is pretty successful. Uh, I, I was involved at some point in setting that up, but, but I'm, I'm really not involved with it now, so I'm not trying to push something. Um, these are the options that you have. Beyond that, there may be pen shows or pen club meetings where you're able to, to pawn something off. Uh, but, but, but that's really it, I would say. So you have options, but you need to Google what is convenient to you. Where to sell fountain pens and then eBay will come up and fountain pen network and all these things that I've just mentioned again. So that's, that's what I would do. Uh, there also are where specific stores uh, these days, uh, like for example, Chatterley Luxuries, uh, that sell pens on commission. So you could also consider something like that. I didn't mean to be dismissive, I'm just saying like Google it and see what you find most convenient. There are different buyer protection and seller protection things, and so, so you got to take all that into account. With eBay, you don't know what you get as a, as a buyer. Um, but people buy pens there anyway. So there you go. All right, question number four. I have a Montblanc M and the pen runs dry as I write. And then I have to operate the converter to squeeze ink into the feed. What should I do? Throw it out, buy a pen that does write. Next question. Now, this, this is a matter that is, frankly, common and not easy to solve. So what you could do is send the nib to a nibmeister and they can probably fix it. But I found that the results of this vary. 
So what could be the case? Well, you could be using a very dry ink, but I'm assuming that's not the issue. Usually when something like this happens and a pen writes fine, but then as you write with it, it starts to write drier and drier to the point where it stops, that is a matter of a problem with air exchange. So understand that a fountain pen is pretty much a controlled leak. And that means that ink gets sucked through the feed, through the nib, onto the paper. And as that ink is leaving the ink reservoir, whether that is a barrel, if you have a piston filled pen, or a cartridge, or in this case, a cartridge converter, as that ink leaves, air, needs to go back into the ink reservoir. If that does not happen, a vacuum is created, and ink is halted and can no longer get out of the reservoir. I'm sure I'm simplifying this a little bit, but that's approximately what happens. That's why you, if you, if you look at a, a feed, you will see there is a channel in it that runs under the nib through which ink flows, but there is typically also another channel. Sometimes it's grooves at the bottom of that channel, sometimes it's a groove all the way at the bottom of the feed. That is there for a reason. And the point of that specific groove is to allow air to flow back into the ink reservoir as you write. At least that's how, I've, how I have always understood it. There are situations where that air replacement fails. And again, when that happens, your pen starts off writing fine, but it'll run dry because again, as more and more ink leaves the pen, it's not replaced with air, you get a vacuum, now you're stuck and the pen doesn't write properly anymore. What can you do in such a case? Well, you can try to quote unquote hack the feed. Some people do that with different levels of success. This is not easy if you don't know what you're doing. I've tried a couple times with different pens and I've got to be honest, I don't get good results. A nibmeister has a better understanding of the geometry of nibs and how feeds work and all that stuff. So a professional nibmeister, and I have done a video on nibmeister, so you can figure out my favorite ones there, and they should be able to fix the problem. But again, I've seen this happen with various levels of success. Now, what you can do is look closely at your converter. Sometimes converters are not really airtight themselves anymore. And Often I found that the nipple that you, you stick onto the pen, uh, that actually may develop small cracks. And when that happens, then you get other air leaks and then everything goes down the drain. Or not, because it ain't writing. <laughs> anyway, um, this can happen. So I would, what I would do, and that's probably the simplest and cheapest solution, although your pens are Mont Blanc, so nothing is really cheap, you could try to get another converter for it. Try that. If that works, then it might be your converter that's faulty and then there's no other problem. Or if that's a little difficult because those Mont Blanc converters are not necessarily easy to come by, get a box of Mont Blanc cartridges. Try a brand new cartridge, pop it in the pen, write with it for page after page, see what happens. If it does not run dry, again, it was the converter, not, not the feed. And in many ways, that's the best outcome you can have because a converter is much cheaper to replace than a pen and a lot easier to replace than, say, a faulty feed. Because even if it's the one feed, if you were to buy a replacement feed, which Mont Blanc will not sell you, um, you may have the same problem, right? It's just the way some of these things work. Now, typically, the broader the nib, the more likely this kind of thing is to happen because broad nibs have more ink demand suck ink out at a faster rate and then your pen runs dry faster, I found. What else was I going to say? So it's, it's broad nibs that, that do this most often. Oh yes, and second thing is filling systems matter. I found, for example, with um, uh, I have specific Bach number 8 nibs, the whole unit, if I put that whole nib unit on a conid, it works fine, which has a big ink reservoir, does not run dry. If I put that same nib unit on a cartridge converter pen, no matter what converter or cartridge I use, it runs dry. It has exactly the problem this person asked about, where it starts off wet and it gets drier and drier to the point where it stops writing. And it's the same nib. In this case, it's, it, so what I'm trying to say is, 
the filling system matters. Converters, easy, cheap, uh, easy to clean, cheap to replace, but very tight nipple, etc. So small things, air replacement gets a little harder, I found. Please weigh in on this matter. Have you also found that converters are more likely to have this ink starvation issue than uh, other filling systems? I would love to hear that. That's what we have for today. I hope this was useful, fun, and entertaining. Not necessarily in that order. Well, probably in that order. And if you have any questions, please leave them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. That's all for now. I hope this was useful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad to see you later.